Hello traders, Mark from the Day Trading Room here. Um, just thought I'd try and capture a live trade um, if I can. Give a bit of background. Uh, it's been a heavy down day. Down about 250, 260. Um, we've started a small counter trend, uh, counter trend rally at about 20 past, uh, 20 past 4 London time. And um, I've been playing some uh, larger setups. But I'm now just scalping, scalping this range from the long side because I want to. Uh, I think we've got a bit more of a market cycle, upward cycle to go. So um, rather than just just taking it along, I'm just um, looking to scalp this this range we've got. So right now we're uh, trading at 10.381. That little box I put in there, I'm looking to buy. Okay, I'm looking to buy very shortly. I want to see it push into that box, and then push back up into the range and then I'll take the long. This is only going to be scalps, I'm only going to use three contracts. Just as, a good, as an example here. I uh, won't be risking any more than that and it'll be a very tight stop because it literally this is a scalp play based on tape reading. So we've pushed into my little box area which uh, was just under that last low, that's why I drew the box. And um, let's see now, let's watch the tape. Okay, so far so good. Um, if probe lower, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a long here now. Three contracts, we're in it. Th Tenth for eighty-four. Okay, that looks good. Um, we push back into that little range now. I'm just going to put a stop below that last little low. Very tight stop. Seven, uh, ten three seventy-seven. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to split my. Let me just have a look to see where this is. Ten three ninety two. I'm going to split my um, X into three. So one contract at ninety two. I'm going to go for another contract at the top of that range there, ninety eight. And then I'm going to stick a third contract uh, back at the up at the VWAP there. Um, now I don't expect a hold for that at all, but I'm just putting them in in case in case I'm on the on the right side of a sudden burst. This is a scout play. It's only um, it's only it's only a tape read. Um, I would probably just read the tape and come out into the strength, but that's the that's how I'm structuring the trade, and that's how I'm bracketing the trade, if you like. Got my stall out stop at 77. I may not even wait for it to get there. If it, if it starts looking weak, I'll just hit the, I'll just hit the bid and get out, take all three out. Um, I've got a scaled exit strategy. I do that even if I'm just scalping. Um, but of course, if something comes up, if I'm looking at this now and it just goes red and I just see ticks hammering to new lows then I'll just get straight out. So let's watch it now. So far I'm, I'm happy with this. It's popped into my little box area. Um, I've taken the long at 84. Uh, first exit is going to be 92. Ticks are okay, just popping over zero at the moment. They are negative, we are on a heavy down day. So it's literally this is a small counter trend play, which is why we're keeping this stop nice and tight. And what I will do is if I get a fill on this 92, which I expect to, I will pull my stop up and uh, give myself a free trade I might split the stop into two actually leave one there bring one to break even so that it becomes a free trade then and what was a scalp can can mature into something bigger if possible but we'll see we're back into this almost the midpoint uh, you know the way 92 sort of 90 is the midpoint of this range uh, so I'm just looking for a probe maybe it's the 92 the midpoint of the range a little bit higher you can see the amount of candles that have touched that so that's why I've put my first scale there. Only plus eight, but as I say, take read scalp. 91s, 90s, lots of green. Expect to be filled now. Just not take there we are. We're filled on filled at 92. So now I'm going to mess around with this stop a little bit. I'm going to drag it, cancel it there, put one contract there. And then put one contract. Um, I'll probably put it just a touch higher. Actually, let me just see. Where are we now? Ninety-two. So let's see. I want to see the market stalls here. 
it's stalling the ticks I would like to see the ticks break out of that range there see that range that we've got we've literally got the top, any more than 500 would be very very encouraging and I'll look for a further move on this but at the moment we're still there's no signs of us breaking clear of this range so I'll keep it as let's just see how often we stay um, and we're happy to trade up at this 91 92 if it stays here much longer I'll probably bring that stop up a couple of ticks just to ensure that I, it's not a losing trade because let's be honest there's not much edge here it's just trading in a midday choppy range so anyone could come in and and swipe that down and I'm happy that it's trading up near the 92s here so now we've got no we've got no lose we've we've taken six, uh, eight eight ticks uh, on one contract we're risking nothing on the next and what's the stop on that Ooh, seven ticks so it's a, it's a flat trade if, if it comes back down now it takes out both stops it's a flat trade if it comes back down and takes out one stop I'm still in there still with the chance so let's see what happens but you know if it, if it probes lower uh, it's, it is struggling at this level here you can see there's, there's a seller coming in you can see on the offer you know they, they they clear out the offer at 91 92 tag it a couple of times there's someone coming back he's not he's not particularly aggressive but he's passively just selling there so let's see if they take the 92 out there's no bid stepping up i like to see a bid step up and hold even if he gets filled i like to see someone reload reload you know, there's just a big gap there there's a big void and as soon as a big bit of steps up he gets filled or he pulls and now of course you see the sellers are starting to get I mean, impatient they're, they're, you know, they're waiting now thinking okay let's see if we can pop up and then when it doesn't then they you know we could look at that we come on with 37 then 17 23 now straight on at 92 this will probably rock down a couple of ticks now and you can see a little bit quicker very slightly quicker I mean we're in the lunchtime chop zone so we're not talking drastic speed here but you know the tape has little flurries of downside action little flurries of upside action I'd expect this to rock back a few ticks now just hope it didn't take out the stop but I'm not moving it um, I'd like it just to pop up first and take my 98 if it would be kind enough but if it doesn't it doesn't a little bit of speed there on the tape you see on the downside see the red ones 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 six you know plenty of red not enough to cause us any panic but a bit of red there and you see the tape below on the S&P that's filtered for groups of 10 so I only see anything of 10 contracts or more on that um, and you can see just there a big big wave of red hit that a few greens just popped in but I'm going to look to close if I can get another contract away here on a pop up to 92 I think I'll take it because it's it's had its opportunity to push higher I'd rather take another one away at 92 93 if I can pull stop up to break even um, and do it that way so that I'm guaranteed some some profit because this is just taking this is taking forever. It's the edge is gone. I think the trade's gone. I think the the better play would have been to uh, just take it all out at uh, all out at ninety two. Might get another chance. Very quiet. I mean, <laughs> very very quiet. I mean, if this was a normal trade where I was looking for a genuine edge here, I wouldn't have my stop at break even so quickly. But because it was just a scalp trade based on tape reading, that's the only edge I'm using. I'm not using any other significant level or a flush or anything. I'm literally just I just wanted to see if it probed out of that range, which it did, then push back in, which it did, take the tape read. Hang on, I'm just going to see if I can get a contract away here. Just see if it'll push one more got one more go those ticks just won't break it's the ticks down there 200 200 they need to push they need to push now if they can push then I'll get my 98 fill they're not pushing 
just can't get above that at 93. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna come out here at 92. I can't see any reason to stay in this trade. I'll take one off. I'll leave one to run. I'll take I'll take I'll take another one off here at 92. I'll leave one contract to run. I've given it enough. It nearly came down. Stop me out. Let's try one more time. Just but those ticks just need to break out. If it just can't do it, I'm out. Let's try 93. 93. I'm gonna put myself here. All right, we've got a field of 93. So let's cancel this lower stop here at 77. Um, we'll leave that 405 in there. So we've got two away, one 92, 93. And um, yeah, I'll leave the stop at break even there at 85. So whatever happens, we're plus eight ticks, eight ticks and one tick. So that's it really, um, literally just a little tape read, I don't know what's going to happen now, I'll be lucky if we pop up and to the top of that range. I think if we pop up to the 10400 stall and start to come back in the range I'll, I'll take what I can, uh, otherwise I'll just take the stop, there's just no edge anymore, it's floating around, I'm going to take a break, come back and see, um, see if the train continues lower later. Um, I'd like this personally to cycle up. A little bit more just so we can get some more shorts for the new lows but it may consolidate now for the rest of the day um, but anyway this is a little example just a little three contract trade just to see how you can read the tape you can still bracket your trade you can still set your levels you know when I took the trade to start off with I um, had some more ambitious targets for it got the first fill and then I managed the trade as the market action dictated. I'm just going to sit with the trade stubbornly when I can see that it's stuck. You know, it's obviously stuck here. You can see it's not going higher than 93. The likelihood is it's going to come back down and, and probe, you know, the, the 80s, the low 80s again. That's the way the market works. If you can't find buyers higher, it will rotate back round and find buyers lower. It just so happens that this is happening in such a shallow tight range at the moment a 10 or 15 point range rather than the whole market day which tends to be a 100 150 point range but the, the theory is the same it probes to the highs tries to look for buyers <coughs> excuse me can't find them so it rotates down tries to look for sellers can't find them or when it finds them it keeps going till it can't find any more then it rotates back up so that's the that's the cycles we're in it's just a case of reading those cycles and when we take reading and then we look at this sort of choppy action at lunchtime the cycles are so much smaller. So we probed down to the 10380 level, couldn't find any more sellers, started to rotate back up. I expected to rotate back up to the midpoint of the range, perhaps the high point of the range. So I had my first scale there, was looking for the high point of the range for my second scale, and then an ambitious break out of the range for my third. Didn't get it, so we've taken two out now at the midpoint of the range, the 92, 93. Uh, I've pulled my stop up to break even, and um, I've just got a limit left in at the 405 just for target for just that because it's there. But I expect it to rotate down now, take out a stop, and it will continue to rotate until someone comes in and pushes it through through the 93 or below the 80. Okay, we're stopped out. End of the trade. I hope that's helped some of you guys. Um, a little example of uh, scalping uh, a tight range, doing a bit of tape reading, and managing the trade okay good trading i'll be back uh, with another video within the next few days or so